All right, we're looking at the DH55TC motherboard. And as you can imagine, that comes with the H55 Express chipset. And that means that it takes all your socket 1156 Core i3, Core i5, and Core i7 processors. And this is the board that works with uh, Intel's uh, graphics technology that basically has the onboard graphics on the processor. So if you get a processor uh, like the i3s or the i5s that come with the onboard graphics, you can actually output without having a video card. It has a VGA, a DVI, and an HDMI built into the board. Very, very cool. Now let's go for a quick tour. I'm going to start you off with the socket. Like I mentioned, it's a socket 1156. So again, Core i3, Core i5, and Core i7s. Uh, right over here, up to 16 gigabytes of a DDR3 memory. 1066 or 1333, it will recognize. Uh, so very, very nice. You have six SATA two ports down here, three gigabit per second SATA ports, uh, which is very, very nice to have. That's a lot of hardware. It means you can do RAID 0, uh, you can do RAID 1, you can do 5, and you can do 1 plus 0 or 10. Uh, so a lot of options as far as RAID and redundancy goes. Now, as far as graphics go, like I said, it has the onboard graphics, but if you want to add a discrete video card, you can because you do have the PCI Express X16 2.0. You also have two PCI Express X1s right underneath it. And then finally, a PCI slot or your standard PCI slot uh, is available. Now on the back panel, lots of good stuff going on. Multiple PS2, so that's going to work on keyboard or mouse. Two USB 2.0 ports. There's actually six in total on the back. VGA, DVI, and HDMI. Now this HDMI will tra transfer eight channels of audio uh, through that cable. But if you want to go analog, uh, you can do your simple two channel over here four more USB 2.0 ports, and then finally right up here, 10, 100, 1000, uh, or gigabit Ethernet is on board. So if you're going to use this as a home theater PC, excellent for that. Again, this is a micro ATX board, so uh, it is a little bit smaller uh, than what you're used to seeing, and that's really, really good uh, if you want to make it a home theater PC board. Now also, in case you need more USBs, I'm going to point you out to some of the headers down here. You have three USB 2.0 headers, uh, so you have a lot of ability. You can do one, two, and then the third one's over here. That means you can do six USB 2.0 ports. That brings the total, including the ones on the back panel, to 12, uh, which is impressive. Now, if you want to have any older stuff, you do have both uh, a parallel and a serial header. Uh, you have SP diff. Um, so you have a lot of options here. If you need to hook up an old printer, you can use the parallel header or you can use the serial header to connect to some old hardware, uh, making this really good for businesses, for workstations that are using point of sale printers, et cetera, stuff like that. Very, very, very useful. And uh, finally, one really cool thing about this board, especially for those business applications, uh, they're going to use it kind of as that workstation. It does have a three-year warranty, which is about three times longer than most boards come with. And of course, it's backed by one of the biggest companies in the computer game, Intel. They make the chips. Uh, you know, they're, they're leaders of the industry. They control the industry, basically. So you know that their uh, three-year warranty uh, is good, and they're good for it. So uh, there you have it. It's the uh, DH55TC motherboard from Intel. If you have any questions on it, feel free to email me, and I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the Intel DH55TC motherboard, type in i69-2208 into any major search engine.